Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brooklyn Prepper. How you guys doing out there? I'm driving to work. Early morning. Early morning. Anyway, guys, how you guys doing? Hey, the world's on fire, bro. The world's on fire. You know, I don't even know what to make of it anymore. You know, with this thing in Orlando and <clears throat> all these crazy things you're hearing on the headline news. All right, so I figure I'll make a little video. I don't know. I think I'm going to be doing some videos of my drive, live drive at 5 with Brooklyn Prepper. And we'll talk about stuff. All kinds of stuff, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, right? But this is crazy what's going on in this world with all the, the, the madness and stuff like that so that's why I tell everybody out there it's really important right you really got to get yourself right with the Lord these days because it is coming close our, our, our Savior is coming you know and I know a lot of people say that a lot of people make predictions about dates and and when he's gonna arrive I, I don't think that's important right I don't think that's important when is it and all I know he's gonna come one day if it's not in my lifetime it's in somebody else's lifetime but we're all gonna meet him sooner or later we're either gonna be with him we're gonna be judged and everything else and if you uh, refuse to believe that uh, not not believe yeah you refuse to believe it. if you refuse to believe that right you just gotta look around you and look at the evilness that's going on you know it, it's like it's like it's not even like once in a while you hear about some kind of crazy thing going on it's just every day every day something's going on but that's why it's important you got to get yourself right with the Lord and you know read the good book you know this you know I, like a, a lot of people say to me like like eh, you know you know, if there's a God, why would God do this? Why would God do that? You know, well, you know, I think everybody's forgetting there's a, there's another, there's another force at play here. You know, how come I never hear anybody say, uh, Satan, why is he doing this to us? Satan this, Satan that. No, no, it's always God. God's doing this to me. You know, I don't think God's doing anything to us. I think God is all he does is try to show us a way home. Right, because so many people are so tied up on saying this is home. This, this is, this is, this is far from reality as you can get. You know, your next life—that's where, where truth and uh, reality begins. Right, so you just gotta, you gotta fight through this. It states in the Bible, like, give a good fight. You know, and uh, you know, and anyway, if you if you go to the Lord and and your life becomes ten times better. A hundred times, a billion times better. You know, you, you, you got no anxiety, you got, you got uh, no depression. And, you know, because you know that the Lord is there guiding you and helping you, right? And, uh, and I truly believe a lot of this craziness going on is because, you know, the time is coming close. Who knows, who knows what time it will be because... It, you know, it states in the Bible, no man knows the time of the Lord's uh, arrival. Right? I shall come like a thief in the night. And that's right, and he will, when you least expect it, you know? But let me, I gotta pay attention, I'm trying to change lanes here. But anyway, you know, that's why you gotta keep your sights on the Lord, you know? Because, you know, I think a lot of these, a lot of people are going crazy yet. Because I think, I truthfully, man, I think, like, like a lot of people said, oh, they're depressed, they're insane and everything. I, 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 my opinion is I, I don't think it's insanity on most of these cases. I think, I think it, they're letting these demonic beings take over their lives. Yeah, remember the story in the Bible? If you've never read the Bible, read it. You know, that's, that's our instruction manual is the Bible. You know, you, you got an instruction manual how to, how to conduct yourself and live life and get home, you know? It's like having a cheat code in a video game to beat the whole game. If you just read it and understand it and listen to it, you know? You know, 
know, I know a lot of people, yeah, I go to church every Sunday, I do this, it has nothing to do with it. Oh, uh, you know, I, I work in a soup kitchen. I don't care how many bowls of soup you give out, right? That's not, that's not getting you to it. That's not getting you to the Lord, right? So you can give soup out all day long, right, to make yourself feel good. That's for you. When you do charity, you do good works, that's for you. You know, you want to feel good. You want to help, and and that's great. And I and I, I commend everybody that does that, All right? But when it comes down to really being with the Lord, you gotta you gotta put your face in that book and and start reading and take understanding on your own two feet, right? Even with these these seminars and self help things, you know, always looking for somebody else to tell you, you know. You know how you should believe in the Lord and how you should worship I, I believe church and all these little getaways and everything they're great because you're around fellow Christians you're around uh, people that the same mindset but you really got to you really got to stand on your own two legs and make your own relationship with the Lord you can't borrow somebody's else relationship you can't just turn around and say you know oh this is what this guy believes. I'm gonna take his whole theory I know you got to have your own theory with the Lord, you know, like your kids. You have kids. Is, is every one of your kids the same? No, you have a different relationship with each one of your kids. And, they, and it's the same thing with God. It's, a, it's a, a, a different relationship with each one of us. That's why it's important for us to really just grab the Bible and read the Bible. And not only the Bible, ancient texts, like you got the Book of Enoch, which I think, and I think should be in the Bible. And that's my opinion. I don't care. And I talk to priests and pastors, and they're like, "Oh no, it does You know, it does it, 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 it fits right in Genesis, <laughs> right? It, it's it, it, like it belongs there. But but that's my opinion anyway. But research you, when you when you start getting on fire for the Lord, and uh, and you start reading, you start seeing these the, the, this book come alive for you. Right? Then you start, you get hungry. You want to know more and more and more. And like, and then you, you dabble into the older texts, the Dead Sea Scrolls, the uh, Book of Enoch, and, and all, the, all the great writings, right? I believe a lot of them should be in the Bible. And I believe a lot of these writings should be in the Bible for, for us, each one of us, to determine if, if, it's, if it's fact or not. You know, that's, that's, just, that's my opinion. Right, I would like to see a new world, old world Bible. I'd like to see an untouched Bible. That's what I want to see. You know, if anybody could come out with it, an untouched Bible. You know, but but anyway, I'm I'm carrying on here. But this is uh, you know, where I've been at. I've been just like this, looking at the news, looking at the headlines, and and saying to myself, you know, this is more than just this is more than just just people going insane right this is this is demonic entities at, at, at play you know at, and, and it's getting worse and worse and you know like the Lord said I will lift the veil and men's hearts would fail, fail them from the sights they would see so, so, you, so you gotta think about that one part of the Bible when he said yeah our hearts are fail us and we're gonna see I believe it's like another dimension that will mm, basically you know, you got these demons all around us because we don't see them, right? They're always looking for somebody to jump onto, and we don't see them. I think one day, what that that verse means is that we're going to see them, and you know, and, pe and people are going to look at them and say, "Oh, whoa!" You know, I could see somebody catching a stroke, seeing ET standing in front of them with a probe in his hand, right? Because that's all aliens are. Oh, aliens are just do demonic spirits. Right, but uh, but like the story, that's why it's like I was trying to say, it's like I'm trying to get my words together here, but that's what I'm trying to say. It's important for you to be with the Lord, like the story when Jesus walked into that town, right? And it's a popular story, and there was a demonic possessed man, and they, they had him chained up, and he was so strong, and he could just fling guys, and throw them across the, to the country, right. And they, he, they were, he was so enraged and everything. But as soon as Jesus approached him, 
right? You gotta remember, Jesus came back, he was a man. He, he came back in all form. He, he felt everything, the pain and suffering we're going through when he came here to, to, to save us from our sins, right? And when this guy seen Jesus walking into town, he knew who he was immediately. He was like Jesus, he was, he was like, now he said, Jesus, he said, the son of God, are you here to torture us, right? And uh, Jesus asked him his name and, 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 and he turned around and says, we are legion, you know? And you know, we, if you look, legion is 6,000 soldiers in the Roman times, you know? A whole legion of soldiers is 6,000. And he says, we are legion, we are many, right? And then he asked Jesus, you know, instead of smacking us around, can you just throw us into the pigs over there? And Jesus granted him that and the pigs killed themselves. I don't blame them, right? But if you think about it, these guys had six, one guy had 6,000 demons in him. 6,000, right? So you can just imagine, that's one person, there's 6,000. I believe that, you know, it's not even insanity. I believe when you see people, like maybe you know somebody in the neighborhood, you know, or somebody around the guy down the block who, feeds the cats or something in the neighborhood, right? Little by little, he's feeding the cats, and then one day he comes out, he's not only feeding the cats, he, he's feeding the cats in his underwear, and then in, uh, a few months come back, he's he's out there in his underwear feeding the cats and, and throwing things at people, and it's, it's like, I feel like people just don't go back crazy, like in a snap, you know? I'm sure it happens, I'm sure there's, there's, there's mental illness too, and I, and I believe with, with, with the Lord Jesus Christ, that could, that could be cured also, right? But I believe a lot of this is like demonic uh, entities, like this overwhelming people who are not saved, who are, who, are not, uh, who are not with the Lord. Like, so, like what I'm saying is when that, that, that demon in that town seen Jesus, he knew who Jesus was right away, right? So there must have been something about Jesus. He must have been glowing. Like to this guy, these demons took over this man's body and they'd seen him, he must have been glowing. There must have been something about him, right? That made them know he was the son of God. Something really powerful and special, right? And I believe what happens, you know, when you're with the Lord, right? And you're truly, your heart's with the Lord, you sort of get that glow. Maybe not as, as bright as Jesus, I can't imagine, but you get something with these demon entities that are searching for somebody to latch on to. <clears throat> they see you, they pass you by, because, oh, no, I'm not gonna go there. He, he's with the, he, <coughs> excuse me, he's with Christ, right? And I believe they could see that. I believe they could see the love of God on you when you repented and, and you gave your heart to the Lord. That's your, your armor. Your shield, right? So that's why it's important. And that's why I believe, like, people, you know, they don't go crazy all at once. It's always a, a buildup. I believe, I believe when you're not with the Lord and you're doing things and you're just a bad person and, and, you're, and you just hate the world and you hate everybody, you're leaving these doors open and these things start latching on to you. Like, they're, like you know? Like you're a piece of Velcro or something, and then this is, and they build up and build up and build up, and they start getting into your head, and, and they start convincing you, you know, to do things that a human being really wouldn't do. You know, we're not, we weren't made, we weren't made by the Lord Jesus Christ. We weren't, you know, we were perfect, and and you know, doing something hideous like like putting your baby in the microwave and. And, and killing it, which is a woman has done, right? It's not insanity. That's like demonic. That's, I, I don't care what anybody, how you look at it, you know? And they, then they turned around and said, oh, she was off her meds. I don't believe she was off her meds. I believe she was on her meds. That made, I believe meds even make it worse for people, for these demonic entities to come seek you. The medicine shuts you off. It shuts you down. You got to find other ways to cope with anxiety and, and depression. You got to find. That's what I'm saying. Get to the Lord. Read the book. You will find these ways. You will find this armor laying around that you could strap on your body. That shields you from these disgusting beings 
like floating around right now. But that's what I think. I think it's like basically people more or less, you know, you know, when their hearts are, are, are dry, they, they let these things in and drugs and alcohol, you know, abuse of prescription drugs and and all that stuff really opens more and more doorways for them and they and they sort of basically probably call their friends hey this one this one's open let's get on this one all right and then before you know it these people are, are killing other people and then they always kill themselves you ever notice that these big these these murderers they go into a place they shoot everybody up and then they kill themselves well, you would figure if they were insane, they would just try to fight to the end. Because they're insane, they don't know what they're doing, right? I believe, right, these people are so possessed, and they get in there and they start killing people, right? And after the moment they've done all this, right, I think the demons make them see what they have just done. And the person just outs themselves because they can't believe what they've just done. You know, if you follow me on that, you know, it's just, you know, that's what I believe. I believe because it's just kind of weird to me that almost all these people that do these hideous crimes, right, kill themselves right afterwards. I, I just don't understand it. It's, a, it's like a format. It's like a, like a rule book. Oh, commit mass murder and then shoot yourself. I believe there's something more than just insanity. But anyway, guys, I'm touching base with everybody, and I think I'm going to be doing more videos, sort of like on these lines. I'm going to go into the Book of Enoch a little bit, so I'm, I'm trying to get that together. Like I said, you know, the prepping videos, I did my prepping videos, you know. If you want to see prepping stuff, how, how many different ways can I tell you to vacuum seal uh, beans, you know. It, you know, I have survival food. you got, you got to be an idiot not to plan for disasters. You know, I'm not planning for the end of the world because the end of the world is going to be biblical. It's not going to be, it's not going to be uh, some country parachuting soldiers in here on on cargo jets. You know, like Red Dawn. You know, it's it's going to be it's going to be biblical, right? But anyway, I'm going to do that. I'm going to I'm going I'm going to go into the Book of Enoch a little bit and on my car rides. I could, you know, instead of me talking to myself in the car, I could talk to you guys. Right, or listening to this stupid radio that it's got 400 commercials on all the time. But anyway, guys, it's nice to catch up with everybody. God bless everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. I miss everybody. And I'm going to be, you know, like I said, I'm not going to BS you. You know, I've been really busy. I've been busy with life. I've been loving life away from you two. Right? But, I, you know, it's done. Um, maybe slow down for me and I figure you know it's a good opportunity on my car rides home to touch base with everybody and we can talk about all the craziness that's going on in the world right so if you're preparing yourself for a disaster you should be preparing yourself for the Lord also but anyway live for today prep for tomorrow and I see you guys real soon like I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to make it this uh, uh, not a daily thing but at least once or twice a week all right, guys. Love you. See you later. Jesus, son of the most high God. What do you want with me? I beg you, don't punish me. What is your name? Legion, Lord, we beg you, do not send us into the abyss. Let us enter into the herd of swine. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha!